Hey, hey, wrestling fans, FN True followers, and members of the YWC. Brian Crazy here, FN True Wrestling. Back at your TNA Impact results for this week, 9 15, 2011. If you guys don't want to know what's going to happen on the show before it airs, please turn this video off now. So we start off the show with Rick Flair coming out. He calls out Sting, and uh, Flair's all business and says the only way Sting gets Hulk Hogan is to go through him. Sting mocks Flair for being Hogan and Eric Bischoff's puppet and for going to the WWE when WCW closed its doors. It's showtime for tonight's main event. Tracy and Karen Jarrett are shown backstage arguing. Karen Jarrett wants Tracy to get all the knockouts together to talk business. Tara, Brooke Tefsmacher, and Brother Devon and the Pope beat the team Serena, Rosita, Hernandez, and Anarchia, Mexican America. James Storm, AJ Styles, Kazarian, and Daniels come out to introduce Robert Roode. They congratulate Roode for getting the title shot at Bound for Glory and celebrate. Angle comes out and announces Roode will have to face each of his fortune teammates leading up to Bound for Glory. Angle's in with the boss. The boss pulls the strings. They're going to throw some roadblocks in Robert Roode's way before he gets that big match with Kurt Angle. Is Kurt Angle a little afraid of the competition in Robert Roode? Seems to be that way. Then we see Velvet Sky defeat Angelina Love after Winter accidentally hit Angelina with her knockouts title. Then we see Ric Flair, Sting, come back out and retape their opening segment uh, from earlier in the night. They also uh, don't mention WCW or w WWE this time. Excuse me. They were dressed in ring gear this time versus you know the wear that they were wearing earlier. So it looks like maybe this segment will be interjected in Impact versus the segment I spoke about a few moments ago. Samoa Joe defeats Matt Morgan by submission. So a rematch from No Surrender. Robert Root defeats Kazarian by submission. Then we see Jerry Lynn and Boy Ray defeat the team. Oh, defeat Mr. Anderson in a handicap match. Excuse me. Then we see Sting defeat Ric Flair via Scorpion Deathlock. Immortal and Anderson ends up coming down and getting involved. Hogan passed Flair brass knuckles, but he couldn't get the win. Sting ended the show with a celebration and a stare down with Hogan. Then there was a few matches taped for Explosion at the same event. Mickey James defeated Madison Rain, and Magnus defeated Jesse Sorensen after Kid Cash interfered. So it seems like it's going to be a pretty solid impact, good build towards Bound for Glory. Looks like it's happening starting with the show and all the way to Bound for Glory. Can't wait to see the show firsthand and give you guys a full review. So I hope you guys enjoyed the results. I will catch you later for FM True Wrestling. Brian Crazy, and have a great afternoon.